Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Teresa Winfred. If you're seeing me for the very first time, and for today's video, we'll be doing this hair, okay? I'll give you all the tea, all the juice, all the, you know, I'll let you in on all the hiccups or lack thereof that I may have gone through in, you know, doing this hair. I started doing it on Thursday eve Thursday afternoon, finished on Friday afternoon. Um, today is Monday. And uh, yeah, so it's relaxed kidogo. It was, it was a bit, you know, <laughs> so it's relaxed a little bit and... Uh, so I thought to come and give you the proper, proper, proper intro, okay? And also this look was really light yesterday. So I redid it just so I can come on here. And yeah, 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 yeah. It's the end of waste, basically. That's what I'm saying, okay? So well, let's get started with the video. So I just got back from the salon to get this done. She did two of these, so I just took it down and made it into one because, no, I want them chunky. And uh, this is my first time trying this. Okay, I have skimmed through the internet to find um, something that, uh, a video that makes sense, a tutorial that makes sense. So I'm gonna try and let you know which one's the best. As far as right now, I think Michelle Anyango is, is the one that's just winning because it's just so clear. Maybe in Ethiopia we're speaking the same language, so maybe it's nearly one a bit better. I don't know. But yeah, let me show you the back. Let me show you what that looks like. Oh yeah. <laughs> For sure, there's no way I would have gotten the the parting this this clean and clear. My eyes are a bit puffy. I was I was listening to some worship songs and um they did something anyway so i'm using um this is what i'll use for my base this is just a bunch of old hair that i never got around to using um and i have them in this bag a baby so i have a bunch of hair in there crochet needle of course a pair of scissors because i don't want them to be long i want them shoulder length i want like that bob mm. i'm excited and then uh, i'm gonna use Sarah's. Sarah's a series or Ceres, whichever. I'm gonna use that in the color black. I didn't, I was, I was a bit scared, you know? I was a bit of a wimp <laughs> uh, in choosing this color because I was like, Sasa, if it backfires and it's a funny color, I, hmm, I thought we could black. Anyway, um, I have so little faith in myself. What is wrong with me? I've done my hair before. But it's just been so long since I did and that's why I'm a bit, I'm also very excited, can you tell? <laughs> I am very excited, so let's get started. I'll have it, I'll have this go in here. I don't know how long that'll be. Oh no, it'll be short. I'll have to add. Oh boy. So yeah, let me just section out these hairs. So, okay. Should probably bring a mirror here, no? Man. Oh boy. Oh. <laughs> Ma. Ow. Just pull one side. The nini, the braids are a bit tight. <laughs> it has begun okay let me see it's a thicker shoulder length Holly Harpo then I just snip I'll snip right there do you stretch it to see where it figures so now let me open this one about eight of these bunches Oh, cute! There's hair bands here. I could use this to separate this hair. Another YouTuber, Kenyan. What's her name? Vivi Mutheo. How oh, do I remember that? That's nice. Alice ma iapa you separate it na nguvu. Otherwise, it's I guess what it's doing now. So yeah, let me 
separate that and then separate it. Now, come back, you mess up my key. So, if it doesn't come out nicely, I don't know, man. I don't know. This video will be a waste. No, Ama, I'll just upload it. No one in my struggle. Uh, as a first timer who's doing this, what one of my YouTubers, you know, when it's a corner of Danganya, but yeah, let me let me be your guinea pig. Okay, all right, I think that's enough. I don't want it to be too separated. Also, I'm here, is it at all? And then I said, I don't want it to be too separated. Yeah, let me separate it a little bit further. Ah, you knew she was right. You need it. Much muscle work. Me him work. I'm a baby girl, by the way. I'm not struggling for nothing. It is my year of gratitude. <laughs> Teddy like an American, huh? It's my year of gratitude and um, favor. I just want to operate in favor. I don't. I'm no favor and grace. Grace. Okay, gratitude, grace, and favor. Those are my two. Those are my three main. Minis. I'm trying to see God move in those three ways. Hi, right, here goes the first one. I'm excited. So it's unayeka kwa bills. It's getting kama manual as my koma 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 kucha. It's not the best feeling. Hi, right, so here comes the first one. It's in now you wrap it a couple of times. Shh, two, three. Minanda niki songa ju. Four, five. And I'm not doing it tightly so that the springiness is come through. So five. So after every five, I'll do the loop thing, the finger looping thing. Five. Then now, oh dear, you find your heel key too. And I'll do it twice. And then you try to do it. Ah, so soon you're not going to Ah. And then lift the finger. And then continue. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's actually. Huh. Oh, let me find out. I'll become a professional. How many counts was that? Oh dear. <laughs> anyway, let me just wake her. So, one, two, and then pull the thumb out, right? And then continue. I do it my boss. Seeing the distressed effect, Allah, Allah. Okay, um, I'm not even looking at you guys. I'm just looking at myself uh, on the screen. <laughs> okay, okay. So excited! This is actually actually Malise Kwanza. Don't you I was about to say this is actually easy to do. Actually, Malise Kwanza. This finger. Oh, it's time. To replace it, it may lift up, but it keeps picking the hair. And I'm trying my level best to stretch it out. And do your the hair, the Sarah's one, and do your, the blonde is your nekane. Now I understand why they call it a protective styling because it feels so light, so light, so light. So far, so far, okay, so far. Jenny, I jinx let me actually get some more of the braid ni Malaysia Pacini. But guys, it's coming together. Okay, so eight down. Thirty something left to go. I like how the little blonde bits is picking out it's giving it a bit more detail because blacking acquired a black pair tenor. also if you have noticed i decided not to go the butterfly route like equally as distressed as possible yes i'm still doing the whole butterfly uh, method but i'm not keen to have it you know the way 
I just I wanted it to be distressed, okay? And it's giving me distressed enough. <coughs> I love it. <laughs> so light. I love it. It still feels tight. They're all so tight. I don't know how long it takes for that to relax. But yeah, I look forward to that. And to like styling it. <laughs> Guys, it's the next day. <laughs> it's just gotten to 2 p.m. Um, and I have these two left. It's looking so cute. But so light. It's still oof, oof. It's still very painful. So light. Because I won't lie to you and tell you, oh, this only took me a little bit. No, from yesterday, say midday, from like one p.m. let's say 24 hours really but um there's been a lot of breaks in between um i took a break to go for a walk for like a two-hour walk yesterday i took a break to i mean there's been a lot of breaks so i've been doing this slowly could it have been faster for sure but um it is what it is so anyway let me i want to show you how i did one of these so i'm using pre-used um what are they called afro kinky braids do <laughs> The nini one, the fresh ones were um I was all out because there weren't that many. They're already washed and whatever, they're good. Would I do what I was doing? So let me just come closer so you can see. Um like for this one, just try to hook it. And then because the braid is really small, just wiggle. Maybe, maybe even domana no mona kichwa or rather like the nini is painful the braids are painful but then again i'm also quite tender headed so yeah then uh because i'm aiming for shoulder length just so they're all equal i'll try to measure mpaka upper like the collarbone at least but unona it's reducing in size so what i have been doing is getting another piece of braid not not equal in thickness just slightly smaller and then try to add it to where the thickness of the other one is shine. Does that make sense? So maybe this one up. And then just twist it. Not from all the way up. Just from down here because girl. Ain't nobody got that time. So just twist it from up over. Not too tightly. Not too neatly. Yeah. And then once I get to the collarbone, it's here. I'll snip it off, but because uh, I'm I want to avoid the unraveling, I'll just tie, make a small knot. Make a small knot, then okay, yeah. Snip your pair of scissors. Snip uh, right there. Cool. And then um, what I was doing to also save on time. <laughs> Twenty-four hours later, <laughs> was I was pre-dividing the hair. So like I'd take one of the two bundles, then separate it into three or four, and then um, go to town, go to town with it. So I'm just stretching it a little bit more, because yeah, the braids in my back, don't go, it's very little. I'll, I feel like I'll barely make it, especially with the front ones, because they're longer. You might want to start with the front. Don't be like me. Because even, um, what's her name, Michelle Anyango, she mentioned in her video, like, she was starting with the front due. Mimi Nani, I, I can estimate. I didn't realize, or rather, I hadn't put into consideration that the front will be a little bit longer than, you know, like the back ones or the side ones. So, yeah, don't be like me. Uh, learn from those who have gone before you. So, yeah, and then make sure i get everything together then wrap like at least i try to do at least five times before i proceed to go along the braid 
three, four, five. Then now I can proceed to go down the braid. Not tightly, not too loosely either. Because what we are covering is a lot. <laughs> the the two ala foot and a twist, we're covering a lot. So try to go as close together as possible, not too tightly, not too loosely either. And then where there's this nini knot, I try to go over it several times just so it covers. You know how the Lord covers our multitude of sins? <laughs> We're trying to cover the sins, sins that we have committed here. So I'll try to go over that bump a couple of times before proceeding lower. Lafiki Shapo, you just shikiliate with the rest of the braid. Get. I don't know if this braid will be enough. <laughs> yeah, so. Get some braid. And then. Come, do the same thing. So, as the way we had started. So, come. Shikilia and joined with the twisted hair and then start wrapping start wrapping or rather continue no start wrapping you can see that hope you can but you get the gist yeah if you see it thinning too much you could always add um, extra braid but I don't have the luxury of that, so to Malaysia to if you. And also, I'm not really going for something too perfect looking. I like the whole. I like the whole um, concept of embracing the imperfections. Yeah, like even if you look at the braids themselves, they're not all the same length like that. And that's what I was going for. I mean, because it's meant to keep perfectly. I'm not mad, but like I'm okay with the imperfections. There's a, there's a, is it a concept or a study? What is it? A belief, a way of practice with the Japanese that is called wabi sabi, where you basically embrace the imperfections, the imperfect, the yeah. I was about to say the ugly, <laughs> but no, it's not necessarily ugly just because it's imperfect. There's a difference. So yeah. Uh, Ukifika Chini, I forgot to show you. Once you get down there, um, I left a little bit of the braid. Remember the one we had attached to Ki when I had when I was adding the second bit of the curly braid? Uh, attach it, then leave a little extra to go down so that una funikia ukirudi ju like that. I've seen other people use nail glue to like you know, seal the ends. I've done that with one actually, cause it just didn't seem to shikana. I've done that with one, one of the two locks, but the rest, I just brought it all the way up, like to the last bit, noisy and gravel. And then, whee! I don't know what this actually does really, but I've seen people do it. <laughs> Homestar my note too. Yeah. And that's it. I'm gonna finish this off camera and then I'll be back to style. Uh, I'll be back to style it. Okay, <laughs> are you ready for Terry 2.0? I don't think you are. I don't think you're ready for this jelly. I don't think you're ready for this jelly. I don't think you're ready for this jelly. I don't think you're ready for this. Mm, baby, <laughs> friend, friend. Mm. <laughs> Love it. Oh, so light. Nope, 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 nope. It's still a little, um, it's still a little tight. So anyway, the holty, holty, holty kabisa. Sleeping will be a problem one, so be prepared for that. You see, 
The other reason why I didn't want to go to the salon to get it done is because I thought if I do it myself, then surely I can't hurt myself, you know? So I was doing it loosely in door to give the distress look kabisa. But friend, Tujalala Vizuri, the last two nights, so just be prepared for that. Um, are there people who can do it less um, tight? Maybe, but it'll probably just fall. I don't know. I don't know. Let me not jinx. So maybe go to the salon and get it done. It might be. I don't. Listen, listen. It was painful and it was stiff. I will not lie to you. Oh, protective style. <laughs> it was painful. But then again, I'm also tender headed. So there's that. I, uh, um, what other thing? Uh, I think that's the only bit of difficulty that I've encountered uh, in the last uh, few days after having it done. But I love it. I love what it looks like. I can't wait for it to be completely softened. You see, I can't wait for that to happen. I can't wait to add a bit of accessories here and there. And yeah, so this is the final look. So yeah, but yeah, this is the final look. I'm absolutely pleased with what it looks like. I love what I look in this. It's my first time getting this uh, style of hair and it's just been added to one of my looks. The lines, I've realized I look okay in the lines. I mean, if Mr. Dad complimented me in lines, no, I don't think, I'm not, I don't remember ever hearing him compliment my hairstyle. So that one, ah, and it's not, it wasn't me fishing for it. Ha! friend i'm doing lines uh this one has also gotten a lot of compliment no i've gotten a lot of you look different so may decided to take it as a compliment as compliments so it's been added to my go-to hairstyles and what else the big um chunky braids because that one was that was just me not wanting to sit in the salon for long honestly but it turned out okay and it works with my head shape my very oblong slash oval sometimes square looking head so yeah um enjoy the video wasn't meant to be this long okay i'm so sorry but i hope you enjoy conversing and interacting with me all the same i hope <laughs> please subscribe thank you